Hey guys, I'm here to talk about how I installed my Falcon Eye 3 cam wireless system on my truck. Uh, I do daily videos online and I'm driving all around Canada and the United States on a full-time basis. So these cameras are important to me for safety and security to know what's going around my truck all the time. Now this kit comes with three cameras. Right now I'm just using two. The third one I would mount on the back of my trailer if I owned my trailer. Uh, the trailers I pull are aluminum and I have a magnet mount for it, but the magnets don't like to stick to aluminum all that well. If you have a metal trailer, you can just use the magnet mount and pop it up there and it's easy on, easy off. However, if you have an aluminum, you gotta be a little bit more creative and uh, mount it on there a little bit more permanently. And since I switch trailers every second day, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna use this camera maybe on my truck. Maybe I'll put the camera on the back of my truck eventually uh, so to, to help with what's going on between the truck and trailer. Maybe I'll mount it facing forward or on my mirror in a blind spot. Right now I just have the two cameras set up. So let's go through how I installed them. Each camera comes with its metal mount where you can actually bolt it right onto your truck if you want to. However, if you're like me and you don't want to put holes in your truck, you can find other ways. I did not just tape that on there like that. <laughs> I have clamps underneath there that's holding it onto the mirror and I have the Gorilla Tape around it to prevent people from knowing exactly how I clamped it on there so that they can't just walk up to my truck and you know, know what tools they need to get it off right away. That's just to hide the goods of what's underneath there. Uh, you gotta be creative. Just find a way to secure it on there securely. Secure it securely. <laughs> and, uh, and you're off to the races, pretty much. So you need to get power to it, right? So it has a power cord that's coming through here. Uh, I opened up this panel here, just unscrewed it and put the power cord down there underneath the dashboard there. And over here is where the end of the cord is behind here. You'll see how it uh, comes in here. I still gotta put this wire underneath the dash there yet, but I can't really see it, so I might just leave it like that. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, but once you get the power cord all the way up to here. Now I had to get this cord extra myself, this cable. It didn't have enough wiring to get to where I needed it to get. So I just bought some regular speaker wire from Walmart and that worked just fine and I got it coming around here. It's not the neatest, but, I, but remember, I don't want to put any extra holes or anything into this dashboard that is permanent, right? Once you have the wires to your power source, your kit comes with two mobile uh, jack plugins. It has a little plug at the end. What you're gonna to want to do is cut that plug off at the end. The small plug, not the big one. Don't cut it off right near where it plugs in. You want as much wire as possible. You're gonna cut that plug off because you're not gonna need it. Expose those wires in there. There's a red wire and a blue wire in there. Red wire is positive, black wire is ground. I'm sure you knew this. Connect the positive wire to the positive wire of the camera and the negative to the negative and plug her in. Presto, you have power to your camera. You're going to want to do the same thing to power up your LCD screen here. You got to get a little creative and get in your power source. It comes with a whole host of cords back here, which I left out so that I could show you right now. Uh, but you're gonna want the red cord and the black cord. This looks like a mess right now, but it's very straightforward once you get it in your own truck. Connect the power wire to the power, black wire to the black wire, and get that power source from those plugs that are connected as well. And there you go, you got power to your LCD screen and your cameras. Does that make sense? So they're gonna send you two of these cigarette lighter plugs. You can snip off the ends, don't feel bad, just know what you're doing first, but you can snip off the end and expose those wires, connect them to these wires, and that's how you do it. That. That's what I mean, it's not exactly straightforward, it's not like just plug and play, like just plug it in and there it goes. You actually gotta do a little bit of creativity in getting power to them. The kit comes with instructions of how to do this, but this video is just to help you visualize uh, how I did it. So once you get power to your cameras and your LCD screen, that's the hard part, you're good to go. Now all you gotta do is mount this. Now, like I said, I used the Velcro in the back there uh, to Velcro it onto the dash. It's a Gorilla Tape Velcro, so it's extra super sticky. I haven't had any problems with it. Very straightforward, and there you go. You got the driver side here, you got the passenger side here. You can scan, see this is my driver side. It'll scan to the passenger side. Now if I had a third and fourth camera, it would scan between all four of them. I like to have it in the mode where I can see both of them though. Both cameras on here. There we go, driver side, passenger side. If you had four cameras, you can have it in quad view as well, or three cameras, you can have all three displayed as well, just so you can see what's going on. Very, very amazing system. Best system 
for trucks that I've seen ever. Now, if I ran over this all a little bit too quickly for you, remember you have an instruction manual that will come along with your product and then you can watch this video along with that. Maybe the visuals that you saw here will help make a little bit more sense. I know it did for me when I installed this. I had to call in just to sort of get an idea of what I was supposed to do. I didn't know I was supposed to actually, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't know I was actually supposed to cut those wires and use the positive and ground wire, connect the wires directly. Like there's, that was foreign to me. So once I knew that that was okay to do that, I was good to go. So the links to this product are down below in the description. The links to the store are down there. Go check it out if you want it. Uh, it's not going to be the same price as a Falcon Eye dash cam like this. It will be a little bit more, but you do get what you pay for. And I really like it. It's done a lot for me already. It's just peace of mind.